So you're probably confused. You're probably thinking, Fanta, I thought you don't play MSL anymore. Well, I wouldn't exactly call this an MSL video. It's the first of its kind in a new series that I plan to start on my new channel. Monster Super League, a game that I devoted two years of my life to. To say it's near and dear to me would be an understatement. This game has brought my channel back to life at a time when it was all about to fall apart, as well as bring joy to my life in my darkest times. A monster collecting, battling RPG, gotcha based mobile game featuring cool looking monsters, cute creatures, and beautiful waifus. Very early into the release, I happened across someone streaming it and was instantly captivated at first sight. Keep in mind this was in 2006. Very very few games had the visuals and the animation to match MSL. In terms of overall visual, which includes visual appeal, aesthetic design, and overall graphics, it was truly ahead of its time. I think anyone who's played the game can agree. The game is beautiful. The environment is beautiful. The art is beautiful. The waifus are beautiful. You know the saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Why do you think it needs to be said? Like it or hate it, it's because that's what we all do. There's actually a very lesson to be learned here. It doesn't just apply to the game design, but to many aspects of business and to life as well. You only have one time to make a first impression. In the future, I better make damn sure that me, my game, and anything else related to me looks absolutely amazing. Beyond the first impression, there's another benefit of having a visual appealing game. I remember the first time I went into clan PvP. The two ships crashed into each other and the battle began. The excitement I felt. It was still the same turn-based mechanic, still the same monsters, nothing's changed. But the proper use of visuals was able to summon powerful emotions that made me feel the heat of battle. There was another time when the Trixie package was announced. In terms of gameplay, the monster itself was nothing exceptional. But after seeing her in action, I wanted her so badly. It didn't matter, I simply had to have her. These are just two examples, but the combination of visual appeal, aesthetic design, and the overall graphics can cause emotions, which can then cause us to like or dislike a game, a person, or an anything. I definitely would rate the visuals of a game near the top as one of the most important elements that can make or break a game. Through playing Monster Super League, I was able to experience this myself. Alright guys, moment of truth. Um, you know, my, my light, light dark luck is usually pretty good. Like I, like when have I not gotten a lightning in my, um, on my light dark? It, what can I say? Like, I, I was literally just saying, when have I not? So what'd you all think? I had to really quickly put this together because I'm also working on a million other things. And in the future, I think things will be much better if I can get some help on the video, uh, get an editor. It's actually not too expensive to pe for people to do a little bit of really simple editing. So I'll definitely be looking into that. The new types of videos that I'm gonna be making on this channel are gonna be put into three main categories. The first is obviously any progress updates on the actual development of the game. It's the current sub project that I'm working on, etc. And um, for right now, I can work on the story and the concept designs for the game. I'm also working on some world building and having some people help me with the creation of some new characters, zones and creatures, etc. The second category of videos I want to make um, actually has to do a little bit with personal development. I think the goal that I'm trying to achieve now is really, really big. And I'm trying to better myself every day by learning more and constantly reading. And I think as I, as I go along on this venture, I'll, I'll be able to gain a lot of experience as well. So I'm hoping as I grow, you'll be able to grow along with me. The video that you watched just now is in the last category of videos. Um, during this time while I'm developing and creating the game, uh, I, I'm also going to be able to gain the knowledge and the skills to run a, hopefully run a successful company. I'll also be learning and looking into the designs and what makes a good game. So these third type, this third type, the third category of video is going to be split into three types. The first types is similar to the one that you just watched. 
I will be talking about games that I've played before in the past. I share the things that I know, what I've learned, and when when I have the time, I can also try out new games, and we and those games will be added to the collection of my experiences as well. The second will be a spotlight video of people who actually want to come on the show. Maybe they have um, some really cool, really cool uh, experiences or ideas or some really important question. I think it will be a really good chance to have them come on. Like even just a question, come, come on, you know, ask the question, and then um, I will, I will answer it. Cause like, kind of like a frequently asked question type of video. Um, but not, not limited to that. It could also be anyone with any really, really good idea for the game. So I welcome you guys to come on and share them. The last type of video will be a collaboration and guest video that I do with other um, gaming YouTubers or content creators. Basically people that kind of have a lot of experience playing a certain game, um, more focused on their, their one game, or maybe people that, um, you know, could have a lot of experience, very like analytical people. I found a few YouTube channels like that. Um, they make a lot of really interesting content. I'm hoping to hit them up and see if they're see if they would like to do like a collaboration, um, kind of like an interview style video where I can talk to them because they're like the expert in their game and then I can see if I can extract any ideas that I might be able to use in the development of my future game as well. So that is, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.